Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this easy sunburst animation effect. First, make sure that your version of Adobe After Effects is 23.0 or later. Create a new composition. Click the new composition button. I'm going to choose one of the social media presets. 10 seconds is fine. I'll click OK. Then go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, just go to Window, Effects and Presets. Click in the search field and just start typing out Sunburst. So S-U-N-B-U-R-S-T. You'll see it under the Shapes category, Backgrounds, Sunburst. If you have any layers already added, such as a background, just deselect by clicking anywhere in the empty space. Then you can just double click right on the sunburst effect or just drag it right onto your composition window. I'll tap the space bar to preview. And just like that, I have this sunburst animation. Pretty cool. If you look in the layers panel, you can see that the sunburst effect is just a shape layer. With the layer selected, you can go up to the effect controls where you can really customize the effect and get the exact look that you want. And of course, anywhere where you see a stopwatch next to the property, that means that you can animate the effect using keyframes. With the layer selected, I'm just gonna tap enter or return and rename the layer. Then I'll go up to the effect controls and I recommend just going through the properties one by one to see what each of them do. To change the speed of the animation, you can use rotation speed as currently set to four. If I crank it up to let's say 30, that's gonna speed up the animation. If I put a negative before the number, that's gonna change the direction of the animation. So I'll do negative 30. Now it's going in the reverse. And if I want the sunburst, but I don't want any animation at all, well, I can just change the number to zero. You can change the width of the rays by changing it from auto to custom. Then you can use custom ray width. I'll bring it down to five or make it a lot thicker and bring it up to something like 30. The outer radius, that's gonna control the size or the scale of the sunburst. So if I change it from 3200 down to 200, now I've got the smaller version of the sunburst. Use inner radius to control the center of the sunburst. So I can crank it up and create a circle in the middle, or I can keep going and even create this kind of stroke effect. Pretty cool. The foreground color is going to control the color of the rays. You can just click on the swatch and pick a new color, or use the eyedropper tool and select a color. And to control the background color, or the opposite rays of the foreground color, all you have to do is go to the background property and change it from no background to with background. Then whatever color that you have in this swatch is going to be used as the background. When you have the background layer set to no background, if I click on the transparency grid, you can see that the sunburst effect is actually a transparent effect. So any layer that you put below that will show through the rays. But once I set this from no background to with background, After Effects is just gonna look at this color swatch and use whatever color that is in the swatch as the background. If I go back to no background, it's gonna look at the layers below. And that is the Sunburst Animation Preset available in Adobe After Effects CC 2023 and later. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.